Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very important chapter from the Bible. As we read the New Testament, the King James Version Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Greetings of Grace. Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God and Sosthenes, our brother, was two, to the church of God, which is at Corinth, to those who are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints, with all who in every place call on the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, both theirs and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Prayer of Thanksgiving I thank you, my God, always concerning you for the grace of God which was given to you by Christ Jesus, that you were enriched in everything by him in all utterance and all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, so that you come short in no gift, eagerly waiting for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ, who will also confirm you to the end, that you may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, by whom you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Report of Divisions Now I plead with you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the name of the same mind and in same judgment. Verse 11 For it has been declared to me concerning you, my brethren, by those of Coley's household, that there are contentions among you. Verse 12 Now I say this, that each of you says, I am of Paul, or I am of Apollos, or I am of Caiaphas, or I am of Christ. Verse 13. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? Verse 14. I thank God that I baptize none of you except Crispus and Gaius. Let anyone, least anyone, should say that I have baptized I had baptized in my own name. Verse 16. Yes, I also baptized the whole household of Stephanas. Besides, I do not know whether I baptize any other. For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of no effect. The gospel is not earthly wisdom. Verse 18. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Verse 20. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world through wisdom did not know God, it pleased God through the foolishness of the message preached to save those who believe. For Jews request a sign, and Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified to the Jews a stumbling block 
and to Greeks foolishness, but to those who are called by both Jews and also Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Verse 25, because the foolishness of God is wiser than men and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For you see your calling, brethren, that not many wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, nor many noble are called. Verse 27, but God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty. Verse 28, and the base things of the world and the things which are despised God has chosen and the things which are not to bring to nothing the things that are that no flesh should glory in his presence verse 30 but of him you are in Christ Jesus who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption that as it is written he who glories let him glory in the lord amen amen hallelujah amen here ends the chapter 1 corinthians chapter 1 god bless each one of us beloved as we saw that a living god has all power authority and also he is the omnipotent God who reigns, as we read in Revelation 19, verse 6. And he who glories, let him glory in the Lord. Yes, he is a mighty God, the maker of heaven and earth, as we see in Psalm 121. Yes, and he loves each one of us. As we read in Jeremiah 31, verse 3, the word says, He has loved us with everlasting love. He will never leave us nor forsake us. The words are true, beloved. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. The word says, Be strong, be courageous, do not be terrified, do not be afraid, for he will never leave you nor forsake you. Yes, that is the love God has for you and me. As we read in John 3 verse 16, the word says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, on the cross for us. Yes, for he who believeth should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Yes, beloved. Yes. So let us also love him with all our heart, mind, soul and strength. It is easy, isn't it? It is also a commandment to you and to me. Luke chapter 10 verse 25 to 27. Yes. And also we have to love one another. We have to love our neighbor, beloved. As the word says, John 15 verse 12. Yes, this is the commandment we have and it is possible for love covers all offenses love never dies and love never ends beloved love understands each other yes we all are human beings and tend to do mistakes we tend to forget the things the discipline and sometimes we do mistakes yes but God forgives us his nature is revealed the nature of our mighty God is revealed in Exodus 34 as we read he is a God full of love compassion mercy abounding in grace he forgives our sins yes and also he came in this world not for the righteous but for sinners for repentance yes sinner like me yes yes he forgives us beloved yes and helps us to walk in his way for the word says yes he is the way the truth and the life John 14 verse 6 when we commit ourselves in his hands, when we surrender ourselves in his hands, he will take care of us. He will make us a new man, new woman. Yes, as we saw Lazarus was dead fourth day. Yes, but Jesus Christ raised him from the dead. And thus, when we are dead to our sins, we are a new man, new woman. All our past, Jesus Christ will wash away with the blood of Ishuddha Masiha. Yes. He will forgive us of all our sins and help us to walk in the way that he has set for us. He has also given us the Holy Spirit, which will be a guide, which will help us to discern the right and the wrong. 
Let us have the fruits and the gifts of Holy Spirit. The word says, Ask and ye shall receive, and it shall be given to every one. Yes, beloved, the words are true. It shall be given to every one. As we read the mighty word, it is speaking to you and to me. Matthew chapter 7 verse 8 and Mark 11 verse 24. The word says when you pray, you ask, believe that you have received it and you will receive it. The words are true. The word says only believe. Mark 5 verse 36. Fear not, only believe. The words are so simple yet so powerful. At a stage of my life, I had to believe these words. There was no other option. Yes, and the words came true, beloved. Yes, I am his witness. I want you also to taste and see. The Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Psalm 34 verse 8. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him of them all. The words are true. Psalm 34 verse we read in 19. And those who look to him are radiant and the faces are never covered with shame. The words are true, beloved, as we read the mighty word. Yes, yes, as we read in Psalm 34. And in the days of famine, we will enjoy plenty. Psalm 37, verse 19. He is a Yahweh Ire. God will provide. Genesis 22, verse 14. He will provide all your needs, whatever it is, of food, water, bread, money, of the financial breakthrough in your business, the also blessing at your home with peace, joy, and also the education of your children, the wisdom required by each one of us, by the children also. Yes, and also the jobs that we require, the employment that we require. Yes, the healing that we require. Jesus Christ is here right now. Now is the time of salvation. Now is the time of Lord's favor. Not tomorrow, not day after tomorrow. Take the blessings right now. Those who are sick, we pray for them. Jesus Christ, yes, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, be healed right now. Yes, my dear brother, my dear sister, keep your hand on the particular healing place where you want the healing. Yes, Jesus Christ will heal you. The word is same yesterday, today and forever as we read in Hebrews 13 verse 8. is the same yesterday, today and forever. Yes, heavens and earth shall pass away, but his word will not pass away. Matthew 24, 35. The words are true, beloved. And also, let us be encouraged. Let us be blessed today and every day. And also, for the word says, God will provide. Genesis 22, verse 14. The words are true. Yes, he will provide all our needs. Whatever you need is, go in his presence boldly. He is the King of kings, Lord of lords. Take out at least half an hour to read the Bible, to pray, let it go hand in hand. This is the book written. Yes, written with the finger of our God, living God. Yes, beloved. He is the God of the living, not the dead. Luke 20, verse 38. Let us respect him, for the word says, Return to me, and I will return to you. Zechariah 1, 3. Same word in Malachi. Let us go in his presence and put up a request. He will bless us with joy and happiness and peace. He is the Prince of Peace. He is Emmanuel, God with us. He is Ebenezer. Yes, God will help us. He is Aishunasi, he is a banner, as we read in Isaiah 11 verse 10. Yes, beloved, he is the Malaika Malikim, King of Kings. He is our righteousness. Yes, he is our Yeshua, Tilsit Kenu. Yes, and also he is a mighty God. He is Alpha and the Omega, beloved, the beginning and the end. From the beginning he knows the end. Isaiah 46 verse 10. And my dear brother, my dear sister, this word goes to you. Yes, he will carry us. Yes, he will carry us even in our grey hair and old age. Isaiah 46 verse 4. For my brothers, sisters, who say their past have been in waste, the word comes in Joel 2, 19 to 27. It says, I will restore to you the years the locusts have eaten, and you shall never be put to shame. You shall never be put to shame. The word has come twice, beloved. It has been done. Hallelujah. Yes, for the word said, God said to Jacob, Genesis 46, 2 and 3 verse, Jacob, Jacob, I will make you a great nation. Yes, beloved, today we are Israel, the prince with God. We are the daughters of Zion. Take the blessing. Yes, seize the day. He is a loving father. As we read in Jeremiah, yes, as we read in Isaiah. Yes, beloved, 63, 64, we are his clay. He is a potter. 
Yes, beloved. Isaiah 64 verse 8. He will mold us. He will change us. He will remove all our wrath, anger that we have. For the world says, cease from anger and forsake wrath. We will be a new man, new woman. We will be filled with joy. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. And remember, for us to live is Christ and die is gain. Philippians 1.21 And my God will provide all your needs in the glorious riches of Yeshua Messiah. Hallelujah. The words are true. As we read, the mighty word is speaking to you and to me. Philippians 4 verse 19. Yes. For as we are speaking, he will hear. And as we pray, he will answer. Isaiah 65 verse 24. And nothing can stop what God has ordained for you. Remember this word. Isaiah 14.27 And every curse will be turned into a blessing. Deuteronomy 23 verse 5. Yes. Seize the day, beloved. Be victorious in life. You are in this world. God has a plan. He has a purpose. You are not here by chance. It is God's plan. For the word says in Jeremiah 1 verse 5, Even before we were formed in the womb, He knew us. Yes. So, the battle is the Lord's. Just go ahead. 1 Samuel 17 47 And the victory rests with the mighty God as we read the mighty word, as it is speaking to you and to me. Hallelujah. The victory rests with the mighty God. Yes. Proverbs 21 verse 31. The deliverance rests with the mighty God. Yes. So everything is in the hands of a mighty God. The words are true. Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills and from where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who is the maker of heaven and earth. The words are true, beloved. Yes. Seize the day. Be victorious. Try this word. It is the true word, beloved. And there is no fees for it. You have to only believe. Mark 5 verse 36. God has loved us. Yes, he has fed us. He has taught us. He drew me. The word says, yes. And also he healed me. As we see, he has took me and he has fed me. As we read in Hosea 11, the nature of a God is revealed. The same God who is saying to you and to me, yes, my presence shall go with thee and I will give you rest. This is the answer for our every question. Exodus 33 verse 14. Yes, he is our I am who I am. Exodus 3 verse 14. Yes, my dear sister, my dear brother, wipe away those tears. The word says in Revelation 10, we read in Revelation 7.10 and 7.17, it says God is a salvation. The words are true. It says he will wipe away our every tear. He will lead us to the living waters and he will be a shepherd. It is true, beloved. Yes, you may not have anything, but what God has planned for you, you will get it. For the word says in Job 23 verse 14, what God has planned, all the purpose in my life is as per his appointment. What God has kept for you, you will get it, come what may. Yes, you have to only believe. This is my testimony, my testimony of life. Yes, what God has kept for you, you will get it, beloved. Yes, for he has loved each and every one of us. Yes, let us love one another. Let us be filled with love. For when we love one another, Christ loves in us and his love is made complete through us. 1 John 4.12 And he who is within me is greater than he who is in this world. 1 John 4.4 4. Hallelujah. God bless each one of you as we, the word is arise and shine. Isaiah 60 verse 1 is for you and me. Yes. Do like and subscribe the channel. Arise and shine. Alfred Rathwood and Family USA. This is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathwood speaking for the channel. As God has called me to be a prophetess, evangelist and priest, I am here in his service. As the word says, yes, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Joshua 24 verse 15 and confirmation of the divine call. Numbers chapter 17. Yes, when you read the Bible, Jesus Christ will speak to you and you will get the perfect answer of your question. Yes, it is true, beloved. The book is a miracle book. It is a roadmap of life. It is a manna to a soul. Seize the day. Take out time. Read the Bible and pray. And be victorious in life. You are not alone. For Jesus Christ is there with you and me. He will not leave us as orphans. John 14 verse 18. Yes, beloved. For all your prayer requests, send us an email. The email address is given in the description. And also, for those who wish to Give the tithes as the Lord is 
leading them. You can send the tithes, the free will offering, the thanks offering on the link which is given in the description. Yes, beloved. God bless you as we read in Numbers chapter 6 verse 24. And let there be showers of blessing as we read in Ezekiel 34:26. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.